Hello and welcome to App Screencast. This is a quick video on an application called Name Mangler. Name Mangler is a useful application which allows you to rename a lot of files at once. So if you've got maybe 20, 30 files to, to uh, rename, you'll find it's a really difficult process. There's, there's easy ways to do it, obviously using Automator is one, but if you're not familiar with Automator on the Mac, this is probably an easier way to do it. You might remember from a previous video I demonstrated an application called Rename for Mac which pretty much does the same job. Unfortunately this application isn't free, it's £17.50 I believe. And I was using the application and I found that I was actually using it a lot more than I expected I would and I actually found it really useful. But the price tag was a big problem so I thought I'd have a search around and see if there were any free alternatives. And after trying about three or four different applications, there were only one what really stood out and did the job as well as Renamer for Mac, and that application was Name Mangler. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate what Name Mangler can do. And if you are looking to rename a lot of files, if it be for if it be videos or if it be a load of pictures you wish to rename, especially when you're using digital cameras all the photos will have a stupid file name which doesn't really mean anything so ideally you'd wish to rename them to something what means something to you such as holiday photos and so on and you also can rename music using this any file in, in fact on your Mac you can rename using Name Mangler so I'm going to quickly demonstrate how it, how it works and remember this is a free application so here goes. Naming files isn't exactly the hardest thing to do, but if you have got a load of files which you wish to rename at once, then obviously it can be a bit time consuming going through each file. So as you can see here, I've got some TV shows, and I've just randomly named them all, random, random, and obviously they don't mean anything. It's I want to rename them back to what they were, or rename them to something better. So, going through each one, Rename it is going to take time, even if I use copy and paste and so on, it's still going to take a little bit of time. And I ideally don't want to do it, and obviously, if I'm doing this on a regular basis, it's going to take up a lot of my time. So, alternatively, you can use this free application, which is Name Mangler. So, all you do is grab the folder with all the files in, drag and drop it into Name Mangler, and here you can see all the files. What you might want to do, if you want to put them into any sort of order, is just quickly go through them grab them, like these two here, they're in the wrong order so I'll bring this to the top and also this one should be near the top it should be second so then just make sure they're all in the right order, or the order you wish it's very important because obviously you don't want to rename them and then rename them wrongly or rename them in the wrong order because that could be really really big problem especially if it's TV shows and it's episodes you don't want to obviously get the episodes in the wrong order so I know for a fact these are all correct now, I've quickly gone through them, they're fine. Once you've got your files in order, there's a number of ways you can rename them. And here's the various ways you can do it. So the first one's find and replace. So for example, you tell the application to find a certain word like random random. And you can ask it to replace it with anything you wish. So obviously I'm going to change it. I'll change it to TV show. So as you can see here, random random will be changed to... TV shows, and it's the same with all of them. So if so, if I'm happy with that, I just click tick, and it will, it's renamed them all. If we go back to the folder, as you can see, they've all been renamed to TV shows. So another way you can rename it is by numbers, by using numbers. So for example, you can name the TV show. So I'll call it TV show again, but this time I'm going to add the season it is. So it's season one. And we're going to also add the episode, so episode, E for episode, so as you can see here. I haven't told it what number it is because it will automatically fill each episode number in for me. And from here you can choose where you wish the number to start. So for example I can tell it to start episode 5, and it will it'll, it'll, um, name everything from there. So 5 all the way up, all the way up. but I'm going to leave it at 1. Also you can choose how many digits to have after it so 001 or I can just have it as uh, no zeros in between or I can have it as auto where it goes 0102 as you can see 
Another way you can rename the files is you can just rename the extension. You can choose to just do the uppercase or lower cases, so you can change the, the that that if you wish. And there's a few other ways you can do it. So download the application, give it a go. It's it is free. So you can get the application from manytricks.com. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. It's a really easy application to use. It's free, like I've said a few times. And I've just gone over a few of the main features, but there's a little bit more to it, so it's worth checking out. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe.